Alright guys, we should be live. Let me know if you can hear me in the chat. Just give me one second to get everything set up, and then we'll get started. All right, I think we should be good now, so yeah, let's get started. All right, so I just gotta go through all this stuff here. Looks like there's been a new weapon that's been added. And we've got all these stages here, but let's see who's in here. We got Cat Pie, Clash Time, Sir Quagsire, Clash Comedy, Madara, The Wumi 27. What's going on, guys? Flash Comedy says, congrats on a great 2017 for your channel and hope you do better in 2018. Thanks so much, man. So I'm basically just going to be doing some private matches. I think it'll be fun. So yeah, this is the first stream of 2018, which is pretty insane. Just wanted to check here if... Alright, we're already getting some friend requests. So I think the first match I'll do right now is with all the new people that are coming in. So right now, if you want to send me a friend request, send it right now. Alright, so I'm going to accept these friend requests that I'm getting in right now. Uh, Ali's saying, bro, in your most recent video, you straight up, uh, you said a straight up lie. You said you had friends. Stop lying and tell us the truth. Real funny, dude. Real funny. Classic. Alright, so let's add, let's add some of these friends who are sending me a request right now. <laughs> Brian Sanchez is saying, I'm on. What's up, Brian? Reaction Studios is in here saying, hey, what's up? So really, the only reason that I'm doing a stream right now is because I have a Splatoon 2 video that I'm working on, but I need some footage for it. So I, I was thinking, well, maybe I could just play some Splatoon by myself today and then get the footage for the video. But then I also thought, might as well just stream it. If I could stream it with you guys and still get the footage that I need for this video then it's a win-win. I mean, you guys get to hang out, I guess, and participate in the stream, and then I also get the footage that I need for the video. So yeah, it's like a win-win. So I'm gonna do, I'll do a match right now with these people, and then after that I'll add some more people in here, and then we'll try to rotate as often as we can. Alright, so we're going to be doing some private matches, so I'm going to set up the room right here. Alright, we'll set a password. It's going to be all ones, so you can join right now. And I wonder if that new mode that they added is also available for private battles. Can we do that? Okay, cool, awesome. We can do clan blitz. I, I was wondering if they could add that as well. So that's awesome, now we can do that. And then I think the, these are all the stages that we can do. So they kind of updated this, which looks pretty cool. So we'll do a turf war. I'm pretty much just going to go in order for all of these different modes. And geez, some of you have been playing a lot. We've got a level 64 in here. Someone who's level 60. It's insane. I really haven't been playing Splatoon 2 that much. But yeah. The cool kid is back. Is asking, how long are you doing the stream? Not really sure. Maybe like an hour, an hour, half or so. Uh, Emerald Gas says I'll join soon. Okay. Franklin's asking, can I play with you? Yeah, you can. Uh, if you have me on your friend list, then you can join. 
Or if you don't, send me a friend request. My friend code's in the description. Alright, so we need three more people here. I guess we only need one more person because the other two ends up being, uh, they end up being the spectators anyway, right? So I'll wait for one more person and then I'll press ready. What does the stage select do? Oh, does that let me choose? Can I just click? I can just have random stage. Okay. Secondary gear abilities are disabled. I don't want that. Alright, I think... All right, so we should be good now because the other two people end up being spectators anyway. All right, so I'm going to need two people to be a spectator. So let me know in the chat if you want to be a spectator. And then I'll let you play in the next round. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to make a random person a spectator. So please let me know if you can spectate this one round. Alright, so uh, Madara saying I'll spec to Mafio. Alright, thank you. And we need one more person as well. Uh, Lol Time's asking, do you have a Wii U? Yeah, I do. I don't really play it that much anymore. Uh, if you want to be a spectator, let me know what your name is like in the lobby. Because your YouTube name for some people is different than your, um, than your game name, I guess, in here. So let me know if you can spectate. But like, let me know what your name is in here. Like Reaction Studios, I don't see Reaction Studios on here. Is that you here? Reaction YT. Oh, there we go. Alright. So that looks fine to me. Okay. So let me just equip the weapon that I'll use. I'll use this for now, I guess. Let's see, Matthew's asking, I don't have this game, but can you accept my friend request? Uh, I guess if you sent it, I'm probably gonna end up accepting it anyway. I'm just gonna accept a lot of people, like, right after uh, two matches or so. I do two matches with each lobby so that the people who got to be a spectator can actually play in the next round. And then after that, I'm gonna just start uh, accepting more friend requests and stuff like that. Lost Red Princess saying, hello, what's up, dude? Lol Time's asking, can I friend you? Yep, just send me a friend request. Codes in the description. Wumi27 is asking, what rank are you in all the modes? I haven't even gotten a chance to play the new one yet. The Clan Blitz one? I haven't played it, so I'm pretty much going to be playing it for the first time in this private lobby. Which is pretty funny, actually. But, yeah. this base here before someone forgets to. This little area here as well. And this is pretty much what I get for not having played Splatoon in a long time. Getting destroyed by this roller.
Lost Red Prince says no school today for me. Yeah, same here. If you live on the East Coast, there was like a big blizzard that happened for the last two days. So I haven't had school yesterday. I didn't have school today either. Reaction Studio says school holiday still for me. Dang, you're still on your uh, your holiday break. I wish mine was that long. Mine's not even that long. It's, it was like 10 days or something like that, I think. Pretty short break. It's always this roller who destroys me. I think we did all right. I think we lost though. I think they got a little bit more pink than we did. Yeah, by 6%. So that's unfortunate, but it was pretty good. Uh, Madara says, I'm still on break. Gotta go back on Monday. That's not that bad. Reaction Studio says, Mine's nearly two months long. That's an insane break. Lost Red Prince says, I want to play, but I, uh, I want to play, but I want to take a break if Splatoon. I have 620 hours. Jeez, that's insane. Alright, so we're still going to do this. I'm just going to make, uh, I'm going to pick two, two more uh, different spectators. So let me know if you can spectate. Actually, I think we only need one more, right? Yeah, because it's already 4v4. We, we just need one more spectator. So let me know if you can spectate. Clash Comedy um, Butter 101. All right, thank you so much, dude. All right, I'm going to switch my weapon here. So let's use... I'm try using the Julie this time. Meowser says I'm going to try to join. Okay, awesome. Nintenzak says, I go back to school this Tuesday. Also, Arrow, have you ever had a viewer from Scotland? If not, I'm your first one. Oh, you're from Scotland? That's awesome. Catopie says, 680. Yeah, a lot of you guys have insane hours in Splatoon. It's crazy. I think I have like 150 or something like that. Not that many hours in Splatoon. Mr. Grizz says, we had off because school didn't want people standing out in the freezing wind at 5 to 7 in the morning. Yeah, same here. It was like insanely cold uh, yesterday and today as well. So, yeah. Well, yeah, this is my favorite uh, stage from the original Splatoon, so that'll be fun. I love Walleye Warehouse. Super Pokey Bros says my favorite stage from Splatoon 1 is Urchin Underpass. Yeah, that's a fun stage as well. I tried to splat splat jump away, but or super jump away. We've got a new subscriber though, Joseph. So yeah, thanks so much for subscribing, dude. Uh, we're getting completely destroyed on this match here though. Try to get away, couldn't do that. Nintenzax asking, is this game worth buying? Because I'm thinking about getting it. I don't want the same thing to happen to 1-2-Switch and Mario Rabbids. 
Well, one two switch I knew from the start was gonna be trash, so I just didn't bother with that game. Mario plus Rabbids I heard is fun. I just heard it's short. But anyways, Splatoon 2 I don't think it's it's like a waste of your money. I don't think Splatoon 2 is a waste of your money at all. I think Splatoon 2 is definitely worth it. Blazing Dude says, hey Arrow, what was your favorite Switch game last year? Definitely Mario Odyssey. I love that game. I still have so much to do with that. I still have, I'm still collecting like so many moons and all that. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite game. Matthew's asking, do you think Minecraft will come out this year or next year? Didn't Minecraft already come out for the Switch? I thought it I thought it did already. I don't know. I feel like it was already out. I'm not sure. Yeah, Minecraft is out, that's what Mias are saying. <laughs> Lost Red Princess, I have 50 hours of Zelda. I got that at launch. You can tell I wasn't a fan. You didn't really like Zelda that much? Alright, so I'm gonna try to accept these new friend requests here, and then, uh, we'll try to get some more people. If you already got a chance to play in this one, try to give other people a chance. There's nothing else that I can do. But, yeah, we got a lot of new subscribers coming in here. We also got Matthew, who just subscribed, and Ahua, I think that's how you say it. So, thank you guys so much for subscribing. That's awesome. Alright, so let me accept these new friend requests that we got here. I might not be able to accept them, because I think my friend list is really close to being full. I think definitely this weekend or so is when I'm going to start removing some people. And obviously, if I remove you, it's not because I hate you. It's just because I need to make room for more people, so. I think I think this weekend I'm probably going to have to, like, mass remove some people. I don't know how many people I have right now. Angel says, hi, Arrow. What's up, Angel? Reaction Studio says, I'm halfway through Mario Odyssey. Yeah, you definitely want to finish that, man. The ending is definitely going to leave you a little bit surprised. I can say that. I didn't expect the ending for Mario Odyssey to turn out how it did. Isaac said it was fun playing. Glad you enjoyed it, Isaac. Alright, just give me one sec here. I'm just checking to make sure the stream was working. <laughs> Matthew says it is amazing, the ending. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not what I expected. That's what I can say, yeah. Alright, so we should be good now. Alright, so private match. We're gonna create the room. Password's gonna be all twos. So try to give some other people a chance if you already got to play. Got a new subscriber though, Lol Time E, so thanks so much for subscribing. Angel says, Pokemon Switch hype. Am I right, people? Absolutely. Pokemon Switch is going to be insane. I still don't think it's coming out this year, but eventually when it does, that's going to be insane. All right, there we go. We need two more people in here. And then we should be good. Super Pokey Bros says, you can tell I do a lot of multiplayer games. Yeah, multiplayer games are definitely the types of games that have the most replay value as you're going to be playing them a lot. 
All right, there we go. We got people here. So now let me know if you can spectate. Just let me know what your name is inside of the the game. And then I'll make you a spectator. Obviously, if you spectate one round, you won't have to worry. I'll let you play in the next one. So just let me know if you can spectate this one round. Otherwise, in a minute or so, I'm just going to make a random person a spectator. All right, so someone said Jared. All right, thank you so much. And then uh, Miazer says you can spectate as well. Awesome. All right, thank you. So we should be good now. We picked Rainmaker, right? So let me pick a weapon that I need for Rainmaker. Uh, what weapon would be good in Rainmaker? I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with the Splatter Scope, even though I'm not that good with it. We should be good now. Uh, let's see. Angel says, I think Pokemon for Switch is coming out in 2019. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I think it would make the most sense. Matthew's asking, do you ever do Rocket League streams? Uh, no, I haven't really done Rocket League streams. I'm thinking about it. If that's something you'd be interested in, I would do it. I don't know how many of you guys have Rocket League, though, so yeah. And we got a new subscriber, Barley17, so thanks so much for subscribing. Is this a new map? I don't think I've played on this map yet. many people coming here. Okay, I'm doing pretty good with the sniper, but I'm gonna get killed by this rain. I knew I was gonna get killed by the rain. I was trying to get away from that. by a roller I think and I'll forge splatter shot basically just gotta get it. We haven't even gotten the Rainmaker yet. You don't want to be the person who's doing that. Uh, Angel's asking, Arrow, how far are you into Skyrim? Asking for no reason. I don't really remember. I think I put like... 20 to 30 hours into it. But yeah. Blazing Dude's asking, do you, ever, do you ever feel bad for ARMS having no more DLC? Yeah, it is pretty unfortunate. I still play ARMS a pretty good amount, actually. I think it's a fun game. It's just... It just sucked how they uh, released it at a bad time. ARMS had a lot of potential, I think. As long as they, uh, if they released it right, it would have been fine. It's just the problem was it came out and then three weeks later, Splatoon 2 came out and pretty much just ruined all of its momentum.
Jeez. Blazing Dude's asking, hey Arrow, what's your favorite Splatoon 2 weapon? Uh, it really depends on what the mode is. I guess if you want my favorite weapon just throughout the game, definitely the Arrow Spray, if you know what I mean. Alright, we have to push now. I don't think, yeah, they got the Rainmaker at the last second. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> Angel says the puns are real. Definitely, yep. Alright, so I'm gonna make the two people who were spectators able to play now. So we're still doing Rainmaker. Where did that go? Okay. So let me know if you can uh, spectate. And then I'll make you a spectator. If not, I'll just pick two random people. Yeah, and if you are able to spectate, just let me know what your name is. Miyazer says, I, can I spectate? I like spectating. All right, definitely. If you can, if you like spectating, no problem by me. Uh, Alcaz says, I can spectate. Awesome, thank you. All right, we should be good now. Reaction Studio says, I'm getting six seconds delay. Oh, obviously that's gonna happen. There's no stream that's gonna be perfect with real time. It's gonna take a while for me to get all the stuff to happen on my Switch, get that to the computer, and then get that streamed out. So, there's no way it'll be, it'll always happen on your Switch or whatever before it actually comes up on the stream. Actually, one sec, I'm gonna switch my weapon. Let's use a different one this time. I'm gonna use, uh, let's try using, I'm gonna use the splatter shot this time. <laughs> Angel says, Arrow, it's also proven that Fire Emblem has a better waifu than arms. You know who I'm talking about? Well, yeah, if you follow me on Twitter, you definitely know who you're talking about. <laughs> Clash Comedy says, it's not often you get to splat one of your favorite YouTubers. Yeah, a lot of times YouTubers are pretty good. I'm not that good at Splatoon, so yeah. <laughs> the Saucy Goat says, Twin Tail? Absolutely not. Twin Tail is not fine at all. Did we actually get the same stage again? Or did I forget to make it random? I'm not sure. But we're my favorite color now. I love this color in Splatoon. This green is my favorite color. So it looks like we're doing pretty well here. We've already gotten people up here. And me being the terrible Splatoon player I am, can't even make it up there. Jeez, 
and I'm so unfamiliar with this map. There we go. Matthew says bye, gotta go. Alright, thanks for coming, dude. And I didn't know there was water there. Okay, then. Super Gaming 101 says, Oh, hello? What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna start pushing. That's not good. That's splatted at the last second by a ball. <laughs> Can't let them come back. A bunch of these rollers are here. Super Gaming 101's asking, is the undercover umbrella good? I haven't tried it yet. I don't know, but we lost the lead here, which isn't good. Good job, Paul. Up there, so we can reset it. Man, umbrellas! I'm telling you, umbrellas are hard to beat. Alright, I'm not good with the rainmaker. I'm pretty much like a support player. I help take out people. by that at the last second, but I don't think we'll be able to make it now. Yeah. It was a close game, though. That was a pretty good game. Uh, we also got a new subscriber in the middle of that. Text Game Texan, so thanks so much for subscribing. So that's awesome. All right, now I'm also going to add all the new people who sent me a friend request so we can get some new people hopefully in here. Uh, Shattered's asking, yo, I have like $600 and I lost my Switch a bit ago. I'm wondering if I should continue saving for PC parts or get a new Switch with games and then get the Switch. 
Uh, I think you should get a Switch. I mean, I don't know. Depends if you play PC games more. But I would personally get a Switch. I think this year, with Nintendo's insane expectations of selling 20 million Nintendo Switches, they definitely have to have some type of secrets that they're hiding from us. And I'm sure we'll know some of them in that Nintendo Direct that's supposedly going to happen next week. But I think it, with a goal like that, they have to have something. I, I mean, it could be their Smash Bros or Bayonetta 3 or something like that. I don't know. They definitely have something if they're, they have like a goal like that. Uh, Nintendo's asking, will you do another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stream? Uh, definitely, I'm planning on doing one. Pretty much the only reason I did a Splatoon 2 stream today was just because of how... I needed to get some footage for this video. I'm trying to get that video out next, uh, either tomorrow or maybe on Sunday. Definitely sometime this weekend, though. So I need some footage for that. So that's why I decided to do a Splatoon 2 stream. But definitely the next stream after, I'll probably put a poll on Twitter or something. I'll ask, like, what you want to see me play. But, yeah. Alright, so... Let's create this lobby here. Alright, so private matches. Alright, we'll set up a password. It'll be all threes. Or did I make that all twos? That's not what I wanted. Password will be all threes. Alright, so we already did that. Let's do splat zones next. So we'll wait for some people here. And also let me know if you can spectate if you join. Just tell me what your name is inside of the lobby so that I can make you a spectator. Uh, let's see. Alcast is saying Smash 5, not Smash 4 Deluxe. Uh, I mean, if it's Smash 5, then I can understand like waiting until 2020 or whenever that's going to come out. If it's Smash 4 Deluxe or Smash 4 DX, I definitely think that they should just say it now. Alright, Angel says, can I spectate? Yep, I can make you a spectator. And someone also saying, I can spectate, I'm Derek. Awesome. Are you in here? I don't think I see a Derek in here. Nope, I don't see a Derek. Uh, Meowster says, I can spectate if you need to. Awesome. Don't always rely on Meowster. Okay, so we should be good now. We got, we got our two spectators. Alright, so now this is Splat Zone, so I'm going to pick a different weapon, even though I'm, uh, let's see, even though I'm terrible, no, not the, not the Dapple Jewelry, I'm with the roller, even though I'm terrible with the rollers. Uh, Super Gaming 101 says Smash 4 in July or so. Yeah, it really depends, like, I think, like, people know that Smash 4, or like, Smash Bros in general, is a game where... It can definitely boost Nintendo sales, so I think what they're kind of trying to do is save up, like save Smash 4, like or just save their Smash game so that when like the Switch's momentum starts to wind down, they could just put that out and instantly get like more people hyped again. It looks like we actually just left, we just saw a person who left on the other side, which isn't good. So, I mean, if that's the case, I'll make, I'll make one of you guys a, here, I'm gonna make, Oh, all players will be kicked. All right, I don't want that. I was thinking maybe I could just change one of the spectators into a into a player, but I guess it can't. It kicks everybody out. That's unfortunate. I guess I'm gonna just exit out of the lobby. Let's just do that because I don't want to play with an unfair advantage. That's just not fun. All right, you can still join if you want to. But yeah, like I was saying, Smash 4 or Smash is definitely a game where once I think Nintendo sees like the Switch's hype starts to wind down, like not many people are excited about the Switch. And I think that's when they'll like, they could think like, all right, let's just release Smash now. And then we'll instantly get like 2 million or so more sales out of the Switch. So I think that's what they're trying to do. But I think at that point, it's just better to just release it whenever they want. Like Smash is like a game. They don't even have to save that for the holidays. They could just release it anytime they want and it's going to be... A console seller. Alright, so what were we doing? Splat zones, right? Yep. Alright, let me know if you can be a spectator here. So we've got some different people. Let 
Let's see. Um, Alright, Meowser, I can make you a spectator like last time. And then Angel's asking if you can be one again. Alright, we got our two spectators. That's awesome. Alright, I still got my weapon, so we should be good now. And Super Gaming 101 says, Screw Smash 5, all I need is Animal Crossing with good online character creators and constant updates. So yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully we get an Animal Crossing this year. I know I've been hearing people talk about that. That'd be awesome if we did get one. Alright, we're back at Walleye Warehouse. I'm putting these randoms. I'm pretty sure I'm putting all of the stages on random, so it's weird how we're still playing these ones again. Alright. I'm definitely gonna do terrible with this. I don't use the roller, but for the video I'm making, I mentioned in the video that uh that rollers are good for this mode. So. Angel says sneak peek of footage, yep. A lot of you guys will probably be in the video, I guess, at this point if you're in the stream. I'm, I'm literally just going to be downloading the stream after and then using the content in that, so. Yeah, I guess a lot of you guys will have a chance of being in there. I still got exploded by that? I don't think I was far away. Uh, Segun the Pikachu fan is asking, how do you like Splatoon 2? Definitely one of the best online games that's on the Switch right now. Not my favorite game on the Switch, but a really good online game. Cover up this spot here. Got that there. Got that guy at the last second. This is a pretty competitive game, man. Now they're starting to go down as well, so we're gonna have to start pushing. Dang, who was that person? Reaction? That was, that was a nice job with the duelies there. Voltan's asking, do a sniper, what is it called? You mean a charger? I already used the charger for one of them. The splatter scope. Alright, this isn't good. They're gonna start climbing again. We have to, we gotta take it back now. Oh, I was trying to use my special. Damn, I think we lost now. We, there's, it's really close now. Oh, this will be an awesome comeback if we can make it now. We just gotta hold them off for like 50 or so seconds. Alright, I see someone coming here. A 
let me know how you guys feel about this new music in Splatoon 2. Are you a fan of it? I don't know how I feel about it. Like, all this new music that they added in it. I don't know, like, when Splatoon 1 got its original music update, I was pretty happy with it. I don't know how I feel about this. It's not so catchy for me. You guys like it? <laughs> the Saucy Ghost says the new music is trash. I don't think I'd go to that extent, but it just, I don't know. It's not as good as the music I think that originally came with Splatoon 2. Or even, um, or even the other music in the original Splatoon. Alright, so we'll do one more, we'll do one more match with this, uh, we'll do one more match with this group here. Splat zones it is, random stages. So let me know if you can spectate. Let me know if Angel or Meowser, if you guys still want to spectate. Meowser, you want to spectate? Alright, I'll keep you in. Angel, let me know if you still want to spectate. If not, I'll add someone else in here. Alright, you guys want to do it again. Awesome. So I guess we just move on here. Looks like it's a 3v3 though. Why is it a 3v3? I guess it's not that bad because it's still equal. It's just it's just weird how it's a 3v3. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna use a different weapon now. I'm gonna go to the Octo Brush. Um, Dara God of Thickness is asking, you plan on getting any games this year? Really just depends on what gets announced. I mean, I gotta see, like, what games are coming out. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be so many games that will come out this year. And I don't know if I can, uh, be able to buy all of them. Because definitely last year, 2017, I spent so much money on video games. It's insane. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to buy a lot of the games this year. I'm obviously going to get a lot of the first party Switch games. I'll probably get some third parties as well. But yeah, I'm not really sure. New Animal Crossing, if it comes out this year, I'll definitely buy it. Uh, whatever the new... Um, whatever some of the other new games, I'll probably buy those as well. Saucy Goat says, I have Splatoon 2 and 2K18 for the Switch. Yeah, 2K18 is fun. I played that for a little bit. It's pretty fun. Flex Pain says, you sent a friend request. Awesome, no problem, man. I'll accept you if I have enough space. But yeah, this is going to be a 3v3 match, which is pretty, pretty interesting. That's not good, they came up from both sides there. Super Gaming 101's asking, will you get Kirby? Not really sure if I'm gonna get Kirby. I mean, I like Kirby games, but to me, Kirby games are always pretty easy, and I don't really like that about it. If uh, Star Allies is, if it ends up being a pretty challenging game, I'll probably pick it up. But like, in the Kirby games that I played, a lot of them are pretty easy. I think we got completely destroyed by this thing. Setting up walls and everything. There's no way for us to get through. So yeah, we got destroyed by that team, I guess. Good job. <laughs> Good job to whoever was on that team. I thought it was going to be a 3v3 pretty fun game, but ended up getting destroyed instead. Got bodied. Clash Comedy says, I'm hoping for Pikmin 4. Yeah, Pikmin 4, we haven't heard anything about that game. We definitely heard that it was uh, completed, or at least 
close to being finished. So I'm surprised how we haven't heard anything about that. I felt like that was going to be saved for the Wii U. Or, I mean, it felt like it was going to come for the Wii U, and then they ended up saving it for the Switch. Alright, so now I'm going to add some new people in here. We play two rounds with this. With this lobby, so let me add some new people. Got two friend requests here, so let's add these guys. Uh, Alcast is asking Arrow if a game developer entrusted you to revive a dying or dead franchise, what would it be? Hmm, a franchise that people don't play anymore. Honestly, a really underrated game for me is uh, the legendary Starfy. If you remember that, it came out on the original DS. That game was a lot of fun. I enjoyed playing through that game. So, I mean, if 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 I could revive that, I would definitely do it. Maybe make like a sequel or something to that. That game was fun. I don't know why they didn't decide to keep going further with it. Isaac was asking, do you like Zelda Breath of the Wild? What kind of qu a question is that? Of course, I love Breath of the Wild. So, yeah. RRJ is asking, how much longer is the stream? Maybe like, uh, I don't know, 40, 50 minutes or so. Okay, so let's get right back into the lobby here. So yeah, Angel, we're gonna definitely listen to Angel here. It says, if you have already played, try to give other people a chance. So yeah, try to give other people a chance here. Miazer says, I'm joining to spectate. Oh, I accidentally went to the online lounge. Didn't wanna to go to that. But yeah, Miazer says, I'm joining to spectate so others don't have to, that's fine. All right, password's all fours this time. Should be pretty easy. Alright, I'm pretty much going to try to get through all of the rounds, or all the different modes here. So we did Rainmaker, we did Splat Zones, next up is Tower Control, and then Clam Blitz. Alright, so we got our people in here. Meowser, I'm sure you want to be a spectator again, so I got you. And then Clash Comedy says, I'll spectate. I'm Butter101. Alright, got you as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Okay, we should be good now. Now that we're playing Tower Control, I'm going to switch my weapon. Let's use, uh, what should I use for Tower Control? I'm going to use the... Okay, we should be good. We've got some new subscribers though. We got Anita who just subscribed as well as Wilmex60. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Adrian Stockman is asking, what is the point of this game? Like I mentioned, how do you win? This really just depends on what mode you're playing, dude. You're gonna have to look up what modes. There's there's like five or so different modes in here, and each one has a different way of winning. So you kind of just have to look that up. Uh, Boss Gaming was asking, can I get this game on Wii U? Unfortunately, no. Splatoon 2 is only on the Switch. So, yeah. Uh, so Penzi is asking, hey, Arrow, can I spectate the next match? I'm so Penzi in the game. Uh, sure, yeah, I can make you a spectator if you want. Blazing Dude says, I'm playing with you. Awesome. Alright, Ink Blot Art Academy. This is a pretty fun map.
lot of people in here. I got sniped by who is that? Bart? Nice job. Lex Payne is asking Arrow, Arrow, can I join the game instead of a spectator? If you're a spectator, can you leave so I can join? Uh, it doesn't really matter, dude. Even if you join, it's not like you'll be able to play. You'd probably just end up being a spectator. You can only have you can have that many people in the lobby, but then two of them have to be a spectator anyway. It doesn't really make a difference. Jeez. Bard is really good with his sniper, man. For the classic Swiffer. Madara says, gotta go. See you later. Alright, no problem, man. Thanks for coming through the stream. I was trying to get up there and I just saw him at the last second. I'm getting a lot of KOs here, but I can't can't get onto the, the tower. Isaac's asking, what are your thoughts on the squeezer? I haven't really used the squeezer. I don't think I even bought it yet. But it looks interesting. I saw a video about it. I think we lost this match, though. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I've even won one game yet. But it's fine. I'm pretty much just here for the footage here that I need for this video. But yeah, I saw the squeezer. It looked like a pretty interesting weapon. Alright, so we'll do one more around here. I'm going to switch out my weapon. Alright, so Meowser, I'll keep you as a spectator. Butter, let me know if you still want to be a spectator. If not, then uh, I'll make someone else a spectator. Let me know if you want to spectate and what your name is. 
it'll make you a spectator. Uh, beep beep says I can spectate. I don't see a beep beep in here, so see, like, that's what I mean. You have to tell me what your name is. Meta? Is there a meta in here? Oh, okay, there we go. I see you. Awesome. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna switch out my weapon as well. Use a different one. Use the slosher. Alright, so we should be good now. That. I had no clue what that was. Splat bomb? I didn't see that coming. Angel says, Arrow, if you could use only one weapon as your weapon forever, what would it be? Probably the Tentatex Splatter Shot. That's like a good all around weapon. You can use whatever you want. So I'd probably go with that. Okay, I didn't see there was water there. Okay, can one of my mods please ban him? Manchu Patel, please. This guy keeps spamming a whole bunch of nonsense in the chat. He's been doing that for a while. Please just straight up ban him. We got sniped by Diego. Nice job. Jeez. Alright, hopefully they don't start pushing on us now. I saw the tent of missiles coming, I couldn't do anything about that. Alright, this isn't good. Now we gotta start, we gotta start, like, defending here. 
don't want them to keep passing us. I fell into the water. Not good. Luna Blaster. Got a new subscriber though, Mr. Llama, so thanks so much for subscribing, Mr. Llama. Welcome to the channel. Either way, we should be good now. So yeah, I think that's our first W in like, eight games. <laughs> Finally. Alright, so I think we're done with this lobby here. Now I'm just gonna add some people if we got any friend requests. And then we'll start the next round. I think the next one is Clan Blitz, right? I haven't even played that mode yet, so... Might not be that good to have me on your team. Like I said, I haven't been playing Splatoon 2 in a while. I've really been just playing Mario Odyssey and some other games. But yeah, let's see. Let's get these friend requests in here. Super Gaming 101 says, I don't like Clan Bliss. Is it not that much fun? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, so... I don't know how it's like. I've got, like, a little checklist here where I'm going to see if I've got enough info for my, uh, my video. Okay, so I think we should be good now. Just gotta get a few more. Yeah, a lot of you guys are saying it's not that much fun. Super Gaming 101, you're saying it's unbalanced. Channel of a Challenge is saying it's not so much fun, really? I mean, we're definitely gonna do it because I need, I need some footage of it, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know how it is. Like, can someone tell me what the point of it is? Like, I haven't even tried it yet. Like, what am I supposed to do? I think, like, there's something about clams, right? You shoot, like, a basket of clams, and then, like, it opens or something like that. Or you collect clams and throw them into a basket. I don't know. Someone explained it to me. I don't know exactly how it's like. <laughs> Colin says it's super fun. So, yeah, we don't know exactly what it's like. Super Gaming 101 says, to get clams and throw it into the enemy's team. Okay, so we have to take it back to their team. And then throw it in there. Okay. And are the clamps just like scattered throughout the map? Or something like that? Or do we have to like shoot people to get them? Alright, so we should be good now. Let me, let me get in and set up on the room. Alright, so let's join. Alright, so the password is going to be all fives. Uh, Anita says, I've also never played. Awesome. So yeah, you and me will both try it out for the first time, I guess. Yeah, I haven't really gotten a chance to play that much Splatoon 2, so we'll see how it's like. Alright, so Flex Pain says you capture 10 clams to get a super clam and you have to throw it into the enemy's basket to break it. Then you throw smaller clams into it before it regenerates. 
Uh, let's see. And then channel of challenges. You need to collect 10 clamps. They transform into a football, and you use that to break the opponent's barrier. So yeah, it sounds sounds pretty interesting. It doesn't sound as simple as I thought it was. I thought it was literally just you throw clams into a basket. And I didn't know it had all this super clam and all that other stuff in it as well. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a very interesting type of match to play. So let's see. Alright, so let me know if you want to be a spectator. Alright, can you let me know if you can be a spectator? Or I'm just gonna pick two random people. So let me know what your name is inside. Angel says you can spectate. Alright, I got you. And we need one more person as well. Alright, I'm looking for one more person who can spectate. If not, I'm just going to pick a random person. Alright, Butter101 again. Awesome, thank you. Alright, we're good now. So let me just let me just get a different weapon here. Alright, what weapon should we use in this? I'm gonna use uh so let's try using the jet squad here. I think it'll be good because we can get distance with it. I don't know. Emerald gas says be right back. Alright dude, no problem. Alright, so this is gonna be this is gonna be the first time I'm playing it, so I don't know what it says. Fill the enemy's clan basket. Okay. Hopefully I get the hang of this. I don't know how this is gonna work. Alright. Jeez, this person has like a whole train of them behind him. Alright. Alright, where do I go with them though? I'm gonna go back here so I can use more tent this one. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I guess I'm helping the team because I'm killing people, but besides that, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't good. Alright, I see some clans here. I got a claim here as well. We broke their barrier. What does that mean, though? Do I have to get to the barrier? Barrier is back up. And I got destroyed. <laughs> Diamond D says, I don't know what that means yet, neither do I. I have no clue. Do I have to take the claims all the way back to their base? Because that seems hard as hell. So I got some clams here. Okay. Do I have to take it all the way back? Where do I take them? What's this football thing? I'm so confused.
I have a football thing. Press to throw? Press to throw plants. Or A to throw plants. I don't know what that means. Still getting the hang of it, I guess. Oh, okay, I got destroyed by an ink jet. I'm gonna take full blame for the loss that we're gonna have here because it's just me not knowing what I'm doing. I'm sure like there was a chance that I could have done something and I just had no clue. I might have to read about this um, to know exactly what was this thing to like. Okay, so here's some claims here. And then we got some claims here as well. We got a guy shooting at me though. Avoid that. You go here. Oh, so if you super jump, your claim to break? Right, so that's not good. Got some claims here. Broke our barrier. Does that mean like they're gonna throw footballs in here or something like that? I killed this guy with the football. I don't know if that's. I think we lost there, but yeah, it's my fault. Oh wait, we won? I have no clue. How did we win that? Like, I don't even know what we did. <laughs> Channel of challenges, the arrow, we're winning. Yeah, I didn't know we were winning. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't even have a rank for that. I, I didn't play this mode yet, so no clue. Angel says, I'm so confused. Not even playing. Yeah, no clue. All right, so we'll keep playing, I guess, one more round with this lobby. Clam Blitz it is. Alright. Angel and Butter, do you guys still want to be, uh... Do you still want to be spectators? If not, let me know. I'll add someone else. Flex Paint says, my fault, I disconnected. Oh, okay, that sucks, man. You have to take that football thing and throw it at the other team's basket. Okay. Alright, let me know what your name is, like, in the game if you want to spectate. Uh, Clash Comedy says I want to spectate. Is there a Clash Comedy in here? You have to let me know what your name is inside of the, the room. All right, so let me know if you want to spectate. I need one more person in here. Just let me know what your name is. Butter101, all right. Okay, we should be good now. All right, I'm gonna switch out my weapon. I used the jet sculpture, which was pretty good. Let me try using a different one. How are, um, let's see, what would be a good weapon to use in this? Let me try using the, the Tentatex splatter shot. Where'd it go? Yeah, this is a it's always a pretty decent weapon to use. Dark Savage says, uh, I love the Jet Squelcher. Yeah, it's a, it's a good weapon. I like it. It's got a lot of range to it, so it's fun. Uh, Brighton Hodge just subscribed as well. We got a new subscriber a while back. I don't know if I forgot to give you a shout out. But yeah, thanks so much for subscribing.
Alright, so Isaac says, first collect 10 clams, then throw the football at the other team's barrier. The barrier is a big bag of the color. Okay, I saw that, yeah. At the other team, and then your teammates have the clams, so we have to throw those in there. Oh, uh, okay. I think I understand a little bit. It doesn't look like it's going to be fun on this map, though. This map doesn't seem like it's suited for clam blitz at all. That's such a long ways to go. Alright, it says it's broken, but I got destroyed as I was trying to get up with, uh, with my inkjet, which is pretty dumb. That was a close one there, I accidentally just forgot how to press the right button. Is there someone here? Like this is the person we have to go after. Right? This person's going all the way up. All right, I, I'm just terrible right now. Not doing good. Since we broke their barrier, so now I think we have to, I have to get some clams there, right? Oh, jeez. I see this guy coming up here. Oh dude, it broke at the last second. The ink rail literally broke while I was on the middle of it. Alright, so I'm basically just gonna try going to their base. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, that is not cool. Yeah, 
press A to throw plants, but where? At the basket? I have to get all the way up to their basket? I think I kind of understand, it's just a very hard objective. Somehow we got a KO bonus though, with me not knowing what I'm doing. Saucy Goat asking, why don't they have red ink? It's because it would look like blood. Alright, so I think we did two rounds here, so I'm gonna add some people if they send me a friend request. I'll probably do like two or so more modes. Maybe. I think we, we got through all of the modes. But I'm gonna just play a few more rounds. And then after that, I'm probably gonna wrap up the stream. So let's add these people here. Like I said, if you already got a chance to play with me, try to give some other people a chance. Hopefully we can get some new people in here. I know there's some people who might have really wanted to join but just didn't get a chance to yet. So we should be good now. Let me get in here. Legend27 says, I just subbed to Arrow. Thanks so much, dude. If you have your, uh, if you have your stuff that's, I think, public to see your subscriptions, then I think it'll come up as a notification. You'll see it come up on the screen. That'll be cool. Alright, so like I said, try to give some other people a chance. Alright, we're gonna join here. Password is all sixes. Can get in now. Alright, so let me take a look at my list here. I, I actually gotta see like stuff that I need for my video. I gotta see what mode we need to play. We got that covered. Uh, let's see. I think that should be good as well. Alright, we gotta do one turf war. I think one more rainmaker. And then a splat zones. So yeah, let's do the turf war first. Alright, so turf war it is. And like I said, let me know if you want to be a spectator. Oh yeah, and we also got the notification from the Legend 27. Just subscribe. So yeah, thanks so much for subscribing, like I said. But let me know if you want to be a spectator. I don't think uh, Angel's in here, or Meowser's not in here either, so I can't make them automatic spectators. But let me know or I'm randomly just gonna choose two people to be a spectator. All right, so someone wants to spectate. I'm Bruton, I think that's how you say it. All right, thank you so much. And we need one more person as well. So please let me know if you wanna spectate. I mean. I'll give you a chance to play in the next round if you still want to play after that. Alright, so I'm going to wait like a few seconds or so, and then after that I'm just going to choose someone. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to make... Uh, I'll just make this person here a spectator. We should be good now. All right. So we're doing a turf war. Let me just pick a different weapon. All right, we should be good. 
feels bad bro is asking uh would you rather have a Kanto re remake or a Diamond and Pearl remake? So if you're talking about on the Switch, to be honest, I wouldn't mind Kanto. Like I know some people hate Kanto to the point where they're like, Game Freak, stop making Kanto like references. Like Kanto's already used up like so much. Like I wouldn't mind Kanto. I honestly think we should get some type of Kanto remake. I honestly think we should get some type of remake with Kanto. Especially because on the DS, I mean, or on the 3DS and the DS, I guess, if you don't count, if you don't count, uh, the red and blue, like, releases for the virtual console, there, we can play every single, every single region on the DS, except for Kanto. If you wanted to play Johto, you get Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. If you wanted to play Hoenn, you get Omega, Ruby, and Alpha, Sapphire. If you want to play Sinnoh, get Diamond and Pearl. If you want to play Unova, get Black and White, Kalos, X and Y, and then Alola, Sun and Moon. You can't play Kanto. There's no Kanto game for the DS. Which is why I think they should definitely remake Kanto. Or re-remake it, I guess, because you already got Fire Red and Blue. So yeah, this is just a simple Turf War. I just need some footage for Turf War stuff. Oh, you're lucky I ran out of a... You're lucky. Shouldn't be squid bagging before I splat you. Bad bro says thanks for replying, Arrow. No problem, dude. I try to get to as many people as I can to reply. They got a danger on their side, which is good. Getting a lot of coverage up here. Got a lot of people DC on their side, man. I don't see anyone here. <laughs> Did the team just decide to stop playing? Okay. Nope. As soon as I said that, I got destroyed by a heavy squad. Man. Feels bad, bro. Says Arrow. If we don't see a Pokemon Direct in February, does that rule out a Pokemon Switch game for 2018? I think definitely January or February would be the time they would want to reveal if the game's coming out this year. I think, yeah, I think if this year, if we see a Pokemon Direct at any point, then the game's guaranteed to come out this year. But I think, um, it could be possible that they show it off in the Nintendo Direct coming upcoming or the upcoming Nintendo Direct, or maybe at E3, even though Game Freak has never done any of that. They've never done reveals at Nintendo Directs or E3, but, you know, they're the first for everything. But jeez, we obliterated that team. 68% win. Alright, so that's awesome. <laughs> I got no splash, but that's fine. Covered a lot of ink there, so that's what we needed to get. Channel of Challenge says Ultra Sun and Moon was announced in June. That's because uh, Ultra Sun and Moon are, are just enhanced ports. Um, so uh, it really didn't matter if they announced them late. I'm still going to do one more Turf War, okay guys? And then I'm going to do more. I just need some footage for Turf War, so sorry about that. Now let me know if you can spectate. Alright, Legend27 says you can uh, um, harm me. Okay, I got you. 
I need one more person as well to spectate. But yeah, like I said, Ultra Sun and Moon was a... It was like a sister game, so it doesn't really matter when they announced it. Because of how this is going to be Gen 8, they need more time to like hype it up, so they'd have to announce it early. Alright, I need one more person. One more person, let me know, or I'm just going to randomly pick someone to be a spectator. Alright, I'm just going to pick a person. I'm going to get started. Alright, so Black Belly Skate Park again. Why do we keep getting the same maps? Oh well. Alright, so let's see. A good weapon to use this time. I'm going to actually try using a roller. Alright, we should be good now. Feels Bad Bro says, They could show a teaser trailer at the Nintendo Direct. By the way, you're the only channel I go to for Pokemon Switch. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. But yeah, I think it could be possible. Maybe they reveal what the games are during the Nintendo Direct. Like, maybe they'll say, like, you know, introducing Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus. And then they just don't show anything. They'll just say, like, you know, pay attention to the Pokemon channel for more news. They could do something like that. I don't know. I feel like... Game Freak's like really smart about when they reveal stuff. They don't like revealing stuff when they know other stuff is going to be more interesting. They only like showing off stuff when they know everybody's going to be talking about their stuff after. So, I don't know. And I mean, it's not possible. It's definitely possible that we could get a Pokemon specific direct, like right after the Nintendo direct. Because a lot of times, if they have specific franchises like that, they uh, they do specific directs, like they don't show them in the main uh, events that they have. Like uh, the best example is last year. Remember we had the big Nintendo Switch presentation in January where they showed off like Super Mario Odyssey, the big Breath of the Wild trailer. But then after that, like a week later, I think it was like literally five or six days after, we got a Fire Emblem direct where they showed off Fire Emblem Heroes. They talked about that remake that came out for Fire Emblem on the 3DS. And then they announced that Fire Emblem was in the works for the Switch. So they could very well do something like that, where we have a Nintendo Direct next week, and then literally like six days later they announce Pokemon Direct. Anything's possible at this point. But this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna. I'm terrible with the roller. I was looking at the chat and then I saw someone there. I'm honestly just legitimately curious to see what Game Freak could come up with for the names for the next Pokemon games. I honestly think they used every idea they possibly could have had. Like Sun and Moon, Ruby, Sapphire. What could possibly be next? I, re I really want to figure that out. Like, they're really smart with that. Like, the only thing I can think of is plus and minus. Or maybe, like, some angel and devil type of game. Like, I don't think we have it, we've had angel and devil legendaries, right? Like, we've had Xerneas and Yabatol, but that's, like, Reveltal, however you say it. But those aren't, they're not angel and devil, they're, like, life and death, right? So, maybe one of those. Alright, 
sorry. I'm not really looking at the chat right now, trying to focus on this. I'll read it in a sec. So I think that was pretty good. All right, but yeah, feels bad, bro. Says for Shigeru Omori's tweet about a big 2019 project that could be for Diamond and Pearl remakes because Gen 8 is well into development. Yeah, like I said, we don't know exactly if that could be talking about the only Switch game, like the first one. It could be about Diamond and Pearl remakes if they got that plan for next year, or it could be for the Gen 8 game. Maybe like if they want some testers or like debuggers to check the, the game after they've already created it. It could be for that as well. All right, so I'm gonna leave this lobby here. Let's see if we got any friend requests. Try to add some more people. Oh, don't want to close it. All right, no friend requests, so we're fine. All right, so we're just gonna create a password. It's gonna be all sevens. It's pretty easy to join. All right, so what did I say I needed? I need some. I needed some turf ore. I already got that. What other stuff that I needed? I need. I need some splat zones footage, and then I need some rainmaker footage. So we'll do splat zones, I guess. All right, so let's get some splat zones footage. This will be two rounds of splat zones. And then after that, we'll do Rainmaker, and then I'm probably gonna wrap up the stream. So Splat Zones for two for these two games here. All right, let me know if you want to be a spectator. Anyone here that I could recognize? Uh, well, I mean Butter is here. Let me know, dude. Do you still want to be a spectator, Butter 101? If not, I can make someone else a spectator. Blazing Dude says, hey, Arrow, did you see me in the match? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what your name is. Can't really keep up with that many people. All right, Anita says, I can. All right, thank you so much. So let me find you here. Okay, I need one more person as well. All right, you can spectate. All right, I got you. So let me find the weapon that I want to use. We're playing Splat Zones, huh? So for Splat Zones, you want to... I'll use... I'll use the end zap. Alright, so we should be good now. I'll do two rounds of Splat Zones, and then the next lobby will be the final one where I'll do two Rainmakers, and then that'll probably do it. I think we got enough footage after that.
Emerald Gas says, what about Pokemon Past and Pokemon Future? Oh yeah, that's a pretty good idea, actually. I don't know how they could base the legendaries off of it, but, uh, seems like a likely possibility. I don't know how they could, uh, make that, but yeah, I think it seems like a good idea. Alright, and it looks like we already won there. So, yeah, that was an insane match. So, that's awesome. Knock out. Awesome. Oh, we had an S plus player in there. Who was that? Who are you in the chat? S plus player? Must be really good. That's insane. Alright, Clash Comedy says I don't want to spectate. Alright, man, I got you. Alright, let me know if you want to spectate. So then I can make you a spectator. Otherwise, I'll just pick random people. Mr. Llama says I'm, I'm in S+. Awesome. So you're the S+, person? That's awesome. Must be really good at that mode, then. Alright, so Anita says you still want to be one. Alright, uh, alright, that's awesome. I'll still make you a spectator, but we still need one more person. And then, uh, if not, I'll just pick a random person if we don't get anyone in the chat who wants to be it. Alright, I'm just gonna make, uh, make Aiden here a spectator. Because no one else is saying anything in the chat, so we're fine. Splat zones, so for splat zones, I'm gonna pick one more weapon to use. Let's see. I'm gonna go with this blue show matic, actually. We should be good. Uh, Anita says, I wanna know if we can change people or who we are watching. Uh, yeah, you can. You have to press the different buttons on your controller. I think, like, A, B, X, and Y are different people. I think, um, the D-pad are also different people, like, down on the D-pad, up on the D-pad. Those are all different people as well. And then if you press the trigger buttons, you can zoom out and watch everything from, like, above. There's a whole bunch of different controls. It takes a while figuring it out. Just try pressing, like, a bunch of different buttons, and you'll get it. It's actually a lot of fun once you figure it out. Like, once you can actually, like, zoom in on, like, the action and stuff. Spectating is actually a lot of fun, so yeah. Uh, Feels Bad Bro was asking, Arrow, for the Pokemon Switch game, do you think Game Freak will use the Unreal Engine 4 or enhance their current engine? Uh, I think it would be awesome if they use Unreal Engine 4, but I think the likely possibility is they're probably just going to enhance their current engine. I mean, they've already got those models from Sun and Moon. All the Pokemon models, they're all, red, they're all in HD pretty much anyway. It's just the, the 3DS has no power, so it's not able to show them. But, uh, I think they'll probably just make them in HD. Maybe add some extra, like, details or something like that.
here. gonna kill me. I knew I couldn't do anything at that point. Yep. Meowser says, uh, I want to, I like to lick pickles. Are you alright, are you alright there, Meowser? It's pretty weird. Blazing Dude says, hey Arrow, why not Pokemon Land and Sky? That sounds like pretty that sounds pretty interesting actually. They could just make like a simple ground legendary and then a flying legendary. It's not a bad idea. Sky doesn't seem that bad, actually. Alright, purple team's actually trying to catch us here. Miggy says, host a private battle on the shoal. I can't do that because that's only if it's locally. Like you have to be next to me in real life. We got the win here. Nice. We got another win there, so that's awesome. Alcas says, I honestly hate when Game Freak splits a third version to two games, even with Black and White 2. What's the point? Well, Black and White 2, they did that because that was like a legit sequel. Ultra Sun and Moon was just not like right. They shouldn't have done two different versions because that essentially was exactly what like the third version should have been. Like there's no reason why they should have split that. The only reason was because of how... Uh, it can make them more money because there's some people that will go out and buy both versions. But uh, they honestly shouldn't have. It should have just been one game called Pokemon Eclipse or Stars or Prism or whatever it was going to be called. I don't know why they decided to split it. They probably just wanted more money. Okay, so this is going to be the last two games here, guys. So whoever gets into these lobbies will be, unfortunately, the last two people that will get to play here. This was a pretty long stream that we did, actually. But I think we got we got some good footage here for the video. So I'm going to download the stream later today. And then I'm going to be looking through all the footage. Try to get some of the good uh, highlights and stuff that I can put in my video. 
out. And yeah, you guys can look forward to that video about Splatoon 2. Should be coming out either tomorrow or definitely Sunday, if not tomorrow. But yeah, last password here. It's just going to be straight down 2580. Not what I wanted. It's going to be 2580. There you go. Feels bad, bros, asking Arrow, do you think Rainbow Rocket will return in Gen 8? To be honest, dude, I wish. I really want Rainbow Rocket to return. They were so sick. Like, I loved how it was, like, all the old school, like, baddies and all that. It was so cool. And I was just upset by that because I was like, man, this would have been insane to have on the Switch. Like, on in high definition, seeing, like, all these amazing, like, trainers would have been insane. So I hope they return. I don't see it, though. I think it was, like, a one-time thing, kind of, just for, um... Just for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon so that uh so that people go and buy it. But yeah, what did I say we needed? Rainmaker, that's what I wanted. Alright, so Rainmaker it is. Now let me know if you want to be a spectator. Uh alright, so you wanna spectate here, I got you. Anita says you wanna spectate, alright. So I'll let you be a spectator. And then I need one more person as well, so let me know if you want to spectate. <laughs> Ch Channel of Challenge says Rainmaker in Dutch is Bazoo Carper. That's a pretty interesting name. Alright, Butter101 says you can spectate. Alright, so yeah. Alright, I got you. Starfish main stage it is. Now let me just pick some weapons to use. Alright, so let me see. Let me just check my notes here. I want to see which ones I need. Alright, so I already used the Splattershot Pro. Used the Splatter Scope. Okay, so I'm just going to use... I'm gonna use the tent attack. Anita says, I'm still new to the Switch controls. I prefer to watch you guys play. That's awesome. You're the real MVP, Anita. Thank you so much. Alright, so we should be good here. I honestly think spectating is a lot of fun. Like, I wish, like, they added spectating as just a fun mode, like, by itself, inside of the game. Like, just have, like, an option to watch random matches around the world, like, just spectate them. Like, honestly, I would love to have that just playing in the background while I'm doing, like, homework or just some other work. I think it would be fun to just have that. What do you guys think? Would you like that if they just had, like, a random spectate mode where you could just kind of look at matches going on in the world? It'll be fun. Oh jeez, did we already win that? That was an insane win. I barely did anything. What a fast game. I think I'll do two more games for that. Just because that was such a fast game. <laughs> what an insane game. Yeah, you said it, Clash Comedy. That was a fast game. I think that was all thanks to Diego and his S-plus awesomeness that took us to that win there. But yeah, we'll keep going. I'll still keep these, uh, uh, butter. Let me know if you still want to be a spectator. I'll keep Anita in, because I'm sure she probably wants to be a spectator. Or he or she. Alright, so let me know if you want to be a spectator. Alright, 
I guess we'll just keep it going here. I don't see anyone else saying anything in the chat. So we'll just keep it going. I'm still gonna use, uh... I'm still gonna use this one here. Tend to tech. Feels bad, bro says, Arrow, at the end of Ultra Sun and Moon, Giovanni says, What new world shall I unleash my evil schemes upon? This pretty much confirms that Giovanni will return. I kind of feel like that's just what he would say at the end of any game. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's just like a normal Giovanni response. I don't think that's like confirmation that they're going to add him back. It's like the it's like the normal evil response. Like, you know, like, I will destroy all of you at the end. Or like, you know, you haven't seen the last of me. I don't know. Maybe it could mean that he's coming back. I don't know if it means Rainbow Rocket specifically. Maybe Giovanni will just return for some reason. Channel of Challenges, have you heard the rumor about a real-time battle system in for Pokemon on the Switch? Uh, yeah, I've heard about it. I mean, I already made a video about that. Not sure how I feel, man. I gotta see it first. I gotta see it to give my thoughts on it. I can't just say it right now. But from the from the looks of it, I don't know how I feel. Because I've been playing Pokemon for a long time, and I've always been used to just the normal system that they have. I can't, I can't imagine how it would be if they just decided to all of a sudden change that. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be a fast win for the other team. We gotta, gotta step it off. Okay, okay so if we can spectate as Blitzing 2, we should gamble in game cash like Smash 4. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, do something like that. Like, that, that would be so cool to have that. Yeah, I'm terrible with the Rainmaker, that's why. I'm probably just gonna stick to, uh... gonna stick to being the supporter guy who kills everyone else. Okay. Stupid Autobahn. He also says that you can't give the in-game cash in Splatoon. No, I think no, we're talking about the the money inside of Splatoon. Like, you can use that and just say, like, you know, I bet this much money in Splatoon that this team will win. But yeah, we got obliterated in that match. Blazing Dude's asking, Hey, Arrow, what's your secret to getting 11,000 subscribers? Uh, really, the... The secret I can say is just keep uploading videos. Like, there, there's gonna be a time, I think eventually when you do YouTube, where you're gonna feel like you're on a like you're not getting any views and you're, it's just like bad for you. But the thing is, you just gotta keep putting out videos and making sure because eventually people will find your channel. And then uh, you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that you have some videos for them to watch. All right, I think we, we had one person leave, so I'm just gonna keep I need a spectating and then we'll have we have our 4v4 still. Clash Comedy says, Can I play next round? Yep, already done, dude. I got you in there. I'm just gonna change my weapons. This is gonna be the last game, guys. And then after that, I'm probably gonna end the stream. Alright, what weapon should I use for the last one? Rainmaker. Probably. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Jet Squelcher. Uh, Channel of Challenge says, It's 2 a.m. here in the Netherlands. That's crazy, man. You're watching from the Netherlands? That's insane. 2 a.m. there, that's crazy. Right now, where I live, it's only 8 o'clock in the evening.
Alright, so this is it. This is gonna be the last game of the night. Alright, hopefully we get a W here to wrap up this last game. Gumball says, when do you go on Discord? Uh, not really that much. I mean, Discord pretty much I just go sometimes when I'm bored. Mainly the main social media that I use is the is my Twitter. That's pretty much where I go if I ever want to talk with anyone, post anything. So give me a follow on Twitter if you ever want to talk or just be notified of anything. That's pretty much the main place where I talk about stuff. I think if you type in exclamation point Twitter, my Twitter might come up. I don't know if I had that convinced that yet or not. Maybe not. I don't know. I think I might have to set it again. says Twitter bot broke yet. Yeah, looks like it did. I'm probably gonna have to redo it. Alright, there we go, there we go. I got them. Held them off. Alright, team. Come on, team. Push it back. Looks like uh, we got we got in there, huh? Did we get a KO win, or I think we just got I think the time ran out, right? <laughs> Mr. Go Mr. Gumball says a YouTuber noticed me. Of course, man. I try to notice as many people as I can. All right, yeah. So we did get a KO bonus. Awesome. So that is gonna be the last game, probably for the night, guys. I had a lot of fun playing. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope a lot of you guys got to play. This was a lot of fun. I got a lot of good footage here for the video that I'm making as well. So I'm probably going to be adding that. So this was a lot of fun. Alright. 
I'm gonna try to stream more often. Really, the thing is, I'm just busy with a whole bunch of other stuff. I would love to have like daily Mario Kart Deluxe streams and Splatoon streams and arms matches and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, you know what? I think I'm gonna add. We haven't added a new mod either. I think in 2018, I wanted to have a new moderator, but I don't think we've added one yet. And I'm actually gonna give it to uh, Emerald Gas. I'm gonna make you a moderator, my guy. All right, you've been here for pretty much every single stream I've ever thought of. So definitely gonna make you a mod now, okay? So you're gonna be the first mod now for 2018. So hope you enjoy that, my guy. And then I'm probably gonna add some more moderators throughout the year as well. But yeah, you, you've definitely been a part of this channel for a long time. I see you pretty much in every stream. Uh, you're always on Discord. So yeah, definitely gotta give you the mod there. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for the stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm also gonna give my Twitter in the description or in the chat here. So definitely go and follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter. That's pretty much where I talk about a lot of the other things that I do. So if you've got a Twitter, definitely go and follow me there, please. I talk about streams there, a whole bunch of Nintendo news. I do polls on like video ideas and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna put my Twitter link here. So you guys can go and follow me if you have a Twitter. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for the stream, guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.